I've been meaning to show you guys this tree during the day. A small tree for a small house. I think Britt did a great job. I know you guys still have Thanksgiving to go in the US. Like I've said before, we get that out of the way early. Here in Canada, we have Thanksgiving in October. There's nothing left but Christmas now. Right? What? Christmas. Christmas. All right. Still practicing. All right. <laughs> nothing? All right. Yeah, there that wasn't it is. My best one. That wasn't, wasn't your my best, best one? No. And I disappointed myself now. Gotta keep practicing. I know, I'm trying. You're looking very festive. That looks like a very festive shirt. It's wintry. Very nice. Very thick. Warehouse one, the jean store, just saying. It's a good place. It's a good place it's to a great shop. Place. Very great place to shop. They got great employees. Got a pretty extensive warehouse one wardrobe myself. I don't so know. do you. <laughs> so do I. You get a lot of clothes from there. <laughs> Okay, we are going to uh, get the insurance, which is in my pickup. I'll have to get in there. And just pick up face wash and coffee. Coffee! Coffee! And we're almost out. That's like essential in this household. I know. Good thing we have Timmy so close by. And a Timmy's card. It's and great. a Timmy's card. Two of them. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, it's right here. Look at that. It's not in the pickup. Well, convenient. there you go. La -dee -da. That is convenient. That is convenient. All right, girl. The last step. Finally, hopefully, you're going to be all mine. Registered and everything. Nice technique. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice. Helps my glasses from not fogging up as bad. That's the trick. Did you know that, guys, with these surgical ones? If you twist it. And it doesn't make it any tighter or anything. So. It doesn't make it tighter and it uh, keeps your glasses from fogging up more, apparently. It helps. It it's helps. It's not foolproof, but it helps. Okay, I'll be back. All right. Have Should fun. Go. Good luck. One out there in the big bad world. Watch out. Careful. Watch your back. Only one of us can go in. What's your favorite Sirius XM Christmas channel? Is there more than one? I don't know. We just listen to Hallmark. It's all the good stuff going. That's all you get, otherwise YouTube's gonna get mad at me. You'll have to go check it out for yourself. Hey, do they have Sirius XM in Europe? I'm curious. What do you guys listen to out there? Do you, do you have the satellite radio? Or is that just a North America thing? There she is. There she is. She survived. I survived. Is it a war in there? Not at all. No? Very calm, very few people in there. Oh, good, good, good. glad to hear it. Lufas were on sale. Really? Did you get some? Loofahs. Two for seven bucks. Of course Actually, you did. <laughs> that's pretty expensive. Walmart would have been cheaper, but I don't feel like going to two stores, so. <laughs> okay. And well, there was one can of coffee in the kind that we use. One can of Maxwell House. Everything else was Nabob. Nabob's okay. I just like coffee. Better than Folgers. Ooh. Yeah. Well, here comes the opinions on coffee. Here comes the comments. What's your favorite coffee? Let us know. You excited? Oh, she's excited. Look at that excited face. I used to work at Tim Hortons. It's not that exciting for me. No? I'm excited. 
So what's happened? It's finished. Oh, yeah. I was like, what? What happened? <laughs> the pickup. I am the registered owner of the pickup. Finally, not GM. I always called it my truck. I'm now actually right. Up until now, it was GM's truck that I was just borrowing for a hefty monthly fee. Yeah, leasing is dumb. Yeah, I don't do that. Unless it's an actual work truck. <laughs> Unless you own, yeah, you own a big business and you need like a fleet truck or a work truck or something. Yeah, this was originally version. a fleet truck for a business. Or this not one? a truck, a fleet vehicle. Yeah. Oh, this one was, yeah. So it was just babied, it was barely even driven. Mm -hmm. I lucked out. It was also driven in the city, so we got it with very low kilometers. Mm -hmm. This thing's got less kilometers than my pickup, and it's a 2014. My pickup's 2016. Mm -hmm. But we did take my pickup to California twice, right? Or at yeah. least not once, and to Florida. You went to Florida. Yeah, and then down to the Gulf Coast, yet. Yeah. All right, is that everything? That's it. All right, that'll be 2233 at the window. Super duper. Oh man, I really thought he was gonna say it. I could feel it, I thought I could feel it. I thought I could feel the awesome possum coming. He felt like a kindred spirit, but I guess not. Do you wanna go on a ride? Your tail says yes. Okay. Let's go for a ride. Diesel wanted to go for a ride so bad. And I wanted to take the truck for the first drive now that it's registered under my name. It's like, it's like I got a new truck today. Got a new truck. I gotta go put gas in it. <laughs> so Britt has some Christmas presents to wrap and apparently I'm not allowed to be in the house for this process. So I have a sneaky fishy feeling that she's wrapping some presents for me. So I got my Timmy's, I got my weasel, I got my truck. What else does a man need? Got the wife wrapping Christmas presents at home? What a day. So Diesel and I, we're gonna go and have some fun. Just, uh, I don't know, find something to do. Maybe we'll go to our spot. First things first, we need some uh, gasoline. Apparently this truck runs on old fashioned dinosaur fuel. Look at this, full service, nice. I forgot my mask. I guess I'm gonna have to wear one of these when I go in. So, I also fixed the mount. Uh, it shouldn't rattle anymore. I got a new mount for it, okay? So let me know when you're up on the dash there. Let me know, the, the rattling should be gone. All right. $76.50. All right. That was what, 79 liters. Okay. Diesel. You ready? Let's go find a spot to go run around. How about it, man? We got the go go juice. I got my go go juice. We're set and ready to rock. Diesel, do you see the cows? Cows, man! Oh, the cows! All right, bud. You ready? You ready? You can get me running again. Oh no. Oh no.
So it's tough to sort of visualize. I know we, we always try to visualize where we're gonna put the house, or I do at least, because I wanna know what it's gonna look like. The house is gonna be back against these trees. We're gonna clear these trees a little bit further back yet. Probably to around the same spot as that over there. Let's clear this all. The house is gonna be back here and our backyard is gonna back up against the bush that way. And all of this big open area here will be our front yard. And we have a neighbor, apparently, who lets their dog bark non-stop. That's gonna be a problem. <laughs> Oh, I hear them outside now trying to get their dogs to be quiet. Finally. Since I got here, that dog's been barking nonstop. I'm surprised it hasn't lost its voice already. <sighs> That's one thing we don't let our dogs do. We do not let them just bark randomly. But then again, we're always with them, right? We never leave them alone. We never leave them outside by themselves. And we're always quick as soon as they start barking. We get on that right away and we tell them, no, no barking. Just so that we don't want to be those neighbors, you know? Our dogs are very well behaved. We've got some very good dogs. But I've just got Diesel with me here now. He really wanted to go for a ride and get his fix. He loves going for car rides. Look at all these wildlife trails that go through here, eh? All of this is gonna be our front yard. Springtime is gonna look so much better. We need a nice skid steer in here. Diesel, what do you think? You're not eating deer poop, are you? Come on, man. You've been spending too much time with Chevy. Bad habits, man. Bad habits. That is not treats. Those are not treats, Diesel. I don't want to talk to you. You know fine, man. You see him over there? All pouting. Because I told him no. He's going to go find another stash, isn't he? Yeah, this is what it looks like. See? Not like you wanted to see that, but now you know. You never know what you'll see on a Trucker Josh vlog. Up close and personal. So it's, it's always fun trying to visualize how this is all gonna play out. See, there's the camper right there in the bush, facing this way. And I believe our backyard is going to come close to this little clearing here. I mean, our plans might change over and over again, but I think the backyard is gonna end right about here. So all of this to that opening is probably gonna be cleared. Our house will be up there. This will be a backyard fenced in for the boys so that we can leave them in a safe area and all of their uh, business is done in that area. It's easier to take care of and clean up then. And then we'll have a, maybe we'll have like a bonfire pit outside the fenced in area so it doesn't get peed on by the dogs and stuff all the time. Have that out in a clearing over there, clear some bush over there with a nice lit trail leading to it. The house will be there facing that way. We'll have a big covered porch facing this way into the sunlight. All backyard around here, maybe a garage over there. I mean, like I said, our plans will probably change again and again, but you gotta have an imagination. Gotta have an imagination. We got neighbors somewhere down there too, who leave their dog outside who barks nonstop as well. I hope that by the time we build, all of these people around here that let their dogs just bark nonstop will have sort of put a put a stop to that. It's hard to enjoy an evening outside relaxing, especially if this happens in the summertime, if the neighbors have barking dogs that won't stop. I think it's frustrating because we go above and beyond for our dogs. We take care of our dogs and we make sure that they're trained and that they're quiet, that they're not disturbing anybody, that they're well taken care of, cleaned up after. It's so frustrating to see people who sort of just get a dog and treat it as like an accessory and don't really take care of it 
Don't train it. Let it bark and annoy all the neighbors. They don't care. They just put food out for it. And it's frustrating to see that. I mean, but what can you do? Right? We'll figure it out. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. We're going to make it all a good experience. Where'd my dog go now? I see him over there. Diesel, you find a good pile of deer poop or what? Come on. Time to go. I got a message saying that Brit is done wrapping presents. Guess it's time to head on back home. Come on, Diesel, let's go. Come on, buddy. You coming? I'm really excited to get this all underway. It's gonna take several years, at least five years, I'm thinking, maybe longer. But the faster we can get it done, the better. Who knows, maybe we'll get it done in a few years. As long as we keep working at it every year, every summer we make some progress. That's all that matters. All right, Diesel? And we can always come here and let you run around. Time to go home, buddy. You ready? Let's put you in the back. Come on. There you go, bud. Warm those feet up. It's a little chilly out there. It's not even cold yet. It's not even cold yet. I gotta keep telling myself that. It's not even cold yet. Better fasten your seat belts because winter's coming. This is still fall time. Back out of here now. Back out all the way this way. Oh yeah. I cleared just enough space so that I could do this. Bit of a bumpy driveway, but I'm really glad I did mow that down at least. Let's so get in here. in town here and I want to go past McMunn and Yates and see how bad the damage is. I can see it off in the distance there already. This is the business that burnt down. That was a huge fire. I still, I haven't been paying attention to the news because I don't watch the news. Not regularly anyways. Uh, so I don't know if they've already announced what the cause was or if they're still investigating it. They got pylons there I can see already so you can't get too close. But uh, I don't know what the cause was. It's just, it looks like it's a total loss. I can see it over there just to the right. Man, that's awful. That's, wow, yeah, that's a total loss. That has to be. Yikes. It won't let us get too close, obviously, but that's what's left. That's awful. I can't see any way of them salvaging any of that, but it does look like they saved the next door neighbor, Stony Brook Pantry. Uh, the, it looks like that building will, or that side of the building will be recoverable. But what do I know, right? What do I, I'm not a firefighter, I'm not one of these guys. Yeah, that whole thing. I guess all of their customers will be going all over to E.G. Penner now. They always had better prices at McMunn and Yates than E.G. Penner. At least in the stuff I've been looking at. Whenever I did a price comparison, McMunn and Yates always had the better prices. So I'm back at the gas station. I want to top off my tank again so that I know exactly how much fuel I use going to our spot and back. 
Eleven dollars or eleven liters. Eleven point three liters. So not that bad. Put five dollars and fifty cents both ways. It's a little bit of a hike, like I said. And I wasn't exactly babying it either, or feathering the pedal, but I wasn't giving her either. I was just driving average, I think. I'd like to know how expensive it, it is to go there and back. 11 liters. Still quite a bit. Nice. This truck's a little bit of a pig on gas, though. A little bit of a pig. That's okay. It's got that nice V8 sound, so... I can get onto the road here. Man, rush hour. It's not even Sunday. What are all these people doing on the road? Here you go, Diesel. Come on, you got it. Home sweet home. Hello. All right, where are they? I'll never tell. Where are they? I'll never tell. I told them you were wrapping my gifts. They're hidden. I sent them back to the North Pole. Santa will bring them. Oh, smart. I like the way you think. Got the boss over here working hard. Is that my new title? I always thought Frankie was the boss. Hey, big Frank. He tries to be the boss. The boss. He doesn't even lift his head when I say his name. I will lift it when I feel like it. <laughs> Looking good, making some schmofot. Well, schmofot's actually leftover from last time. I just pulled it out of the freezer. I'm just going to add some meat juice to it. Mm. Some milk and maybe a little bit of butter. Just to thin it out a bit because it gets thicker when it sits in the freezer. Oh boy. Whisk it up. So i got to remove these sausages and add the schmofot to the juice. <laughs> Mmm. Is your mouth watering yet? <laughs> Lots of sausages. Does this make you uncomfortable? No, I'm used to it. I'm married to you. After the first six months, I just realized it was a... <laughs> it was a, a battle I could not win. <laughs> what have I done? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> now you're stuck with me. Signed a contract. <laughs> Oh. Is anybody in here hungry? I see one tail wagon. Anybody hungry over here? A couple more tail wags. Chevy, are you hungry? Eating is a very serious matter to him. Are you hungry? There it is. Okay. Diesel, come here. Diesel, here's your soup. There you go, Diesel. Good boy. Chevy. There you go. Good boy. Wiener. With your little heart pill in there. Sit. Wait. Wait. Okay. <laughs> All right, Frankie. This guy needs a little bit of help. I gotta do it on the floor with him. Bit of bribery. Gotta bribe him a little bit. How is it, buddy? How is it? Is it good? Is it delicious? Is it everything you dreamed it would be? Doing good, buddy. You're almost done. You're almost done. Keep going. You're almost done. We're all so proud of you. We're all proud. We're all cheering you on, buddy. It has been a long process to get him to eat like this. Been over a year, eh? Yeah, we've had some had them for 14 months now. Finally got him to get excited about dinner time and breakfast time. To the point where he eats his whole meal every time. Sometimes he's reminding me about meals before Chevy even is, and that's a miracle. Wow. Chevy's always right on time. Did you finish? Well guess what you get then. Guess what you get. Everybody else knows what you get already. What do you get? Mm. Dried liver. Oh, the best liver. 
It's what everybody dreams of. Especially Chevy. You were a good boy. You already got yours, Chevy. You already got yours. Don't give me that face. And with that, we'll say good night. Hope you guys had a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe.